Hello everyone, my name is Alicia Miller and I'm going to be talking about something that I didn't know existed a few months ago and I'm sure a lot of people don't know exists and it's called, if I'm saying it right, Hypnesis Gravidium. I'm just going to read the definition. Uh, got my laptop right here for a reason. Well, more than one reason, but this is one of them. And the definition, according to Google, is severe or prolonged vomiting, persistent severe vomiting leading to weight loss and dehydration as a condition occurring in pregnancy. And I am pregnant. I am halfway there. 20 weeks. And then on the side, which is a very important thing to note, is that it says rare, <laughs> which is. It's hard. I've never met anybody who's had it. And no one I know has met anyone who has had it. And I'm the only one in my family who's ever had it. Fewer than 200,000 cases per year. And I'm not exactly sure on how many babies are born per year in just the U.S. Because it says in the U.S. But I know it's more than a million. <laughs> I've been in this bed. One of the reasons why I'm filming it. In this bed. All day long. And luckily I didn't get sick. But I feel like I'm starving. But as soon as I start eating I don't feel good. And I am able to handle pops now which actually help me now before they used to not help my personal experience with it it's not that black and white text of extreme vomiting or whatever it's not just the vomiting it's the like I said dehydration and nausea the nausea will not go away usually I am like I said, I'm 20 weeks. I'm probably almost 21 weeks, technically. I just found out recently I was even further along than I thought before. So, it just keeps, like, my day keeps changing because I keep finding out my, I'm a little bit further along. I seen a comment in a page that I joined recently, and it said, which is the best way I can describe it, is, imagine you had the flu, okay? You know how shitty you feel when you have the flu and you feel like sick and hopeless and like you're gonna die and everything like that and you just feel so weak and you just can't do anything you just lay in bed now imagine that but not for 24 hours not for a week but for most likely 20 weeks 14 to 20 weeks is usually the amount that people have HG minimal. Some people have it all 40 weeks. Um, you know, until they give birth. So imagine having to have the flu or symptoms of the flu for five months or even three months. And just tell me that you'd be fine with that. <laughs> I'm five months into my pregnancy and Normally, people are done with nausea about 12 weeks in a normal pregnancy. Um, 20 weeks, I still get nausea. I haven't thrown up in about a month or so, which is really good compared to some people who have HG. But it's still really difficult to do anything because... I still get nauseous really easy even when I take medicine so I stopped taking it because it wasn't helping and I could try to get on different medicine but I just I'm tired of taking medicine it was just too much when I was throwing up all the time to try to take medicine and then throwing it up and trying to take it again because I just threw it up and I had to miss Christmas because I was in the ER and at Christmas Eve too I had to miss because I was in the ER and Thanksgiving, I was sick, I couldn't eat, so I was, the day before I was really hungry, and I wanted to eat, but the next day I was too nauseous, and I felt like I was going to fall over, I could barely talk to anybody, like, I didn't get to enjoy any of my holidays since I've been pregnant, um, I didn't get to enjoy my one year anniversary, my boyfriend made spaghetti, and I threw it up. And we also had went to the movies that day and I threw up all the popcorn that I had eaten. 
and I've eaten popcorn since then and not thrown it up. It's not just cookie cutter guidelines where one thing is going to work all the time. And a lot of pregnancies, if you don't like something in the beginning, you don't like it in the end. For most pregnancies that are normal, that's not how it is with HG. It's ever-changing. And your emotions really get the best of you sometimes. Because you feel helpless. You feel like you're dying. You feel like no matter what, you're baby's gonna die. Even if you see that it's healthy, you worry that if you get sick, is it not gonna be healthy? And being winter time, I'm worried that I'm gonna get sick and that it's gonna do something to the baby. Because we have even lower immune systems than normal pregnant women do. One of the reasons why we get so sick so easily. Smells still make me want to throw up, even though I haven't thrown up in a while. And I've had decent days but I still ride on the carts at like Walmart and stuff because it's just too hard to stand for more than like five ten minutes I feel like I'm gonna pass out and I literally had to sit on the floor in the middle of Walmart and stuff when I don't use one and it's not safe and it makes the world spin and it makes you sick it makes you want to throw up I have thrown up from standing for too long before so, it just really sucks because then you got everybody staring at you because you're using one of the carts. And I'm not a huge person. Like, I am small and I look healthy and everything like that. So, riding one of those and when I see people I know and they don't remember that I'm pregnant, they're wondering why the hell I'm in one of the carts. I learned a lot about HG from the Ovia app. Obviously not sponsored. I'm in my house that looks like that. <laughs> Please do some research about it and understand that it's not just black and white cookie cutter. Every case is the same. They're almost all completely different. So I'm going to end this video now. Foods I can eat slash safe foods in my next video, which will be shorter than this one.